Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. Hey, in this video I wanted to talk about the direction Bungie has been taking sniping in the past few seasons and where we might end up. And I want to contrast their vision for sniping against former seasons in Destiny's lifetime and ask if this vision and this direction is good or is it bad? Somewhere in between? I don't know, let's dive in. Right now we find ourselves in PvP looking back on some very popular snipers in Destiny 2's history and wondering, how did we end up here? We used to have these snipers like the Beloved, the Revoker, the Twilight Oath. We used to slide around the maps, slinging sniper rifles around in close to close mid-range, feeling like precision monsters and phase TTV gods. From what we can gather, this isn't Bungie's ideal vision for snipers though, and nerfs, buffs, and even the snipers recently introduced to the game would suggest that this is true. So let's pick those apart and then have a conversation about what is best for the Destiny PvP sandbox. But before we dive into that discussion, I have to thank Keeps for sponsoring the video today. So get this gentlemen, research shows that two out of every three men will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they are 35. I'm in my low 30s, so I'm getting kind of close to that. Now, dealing with that baldness is a real challenge when you've got it, so the best thing you can do for yourself is get ahead of the game and start with prevention strategies before that hair loss ever happens. And that's exactly what Keeps does. They have FDA-approved treatments that you don't even have to leave your home in order to acquire. You can sit at home on your computer, on your phone, and have a consultation digitally with a doctor that is licensed to give you a prescription and you never leave the house. And one of the best things about the deal is that if any point during the process you've got questions, you've got concerns, you can reach out and have a consultation with one of those doctors 24 seven. Keeps actually has more five star reviews than any of their other competitors in the market right now, which is pretty impressive. So if you wanna get on top of hair loss prevention right now, you can go to keeps.com slash true vanguard and you can get 50% off your first order. That's keeps.com slash true vanguard. Thank you Keeps for sponsoring the video today. Let's get back to the Destiny talk. If we look back on Destiny's rich PvP history, there were times where the sniper rifle was a multi-purpose tool. Players could sit back, or maneuver around the edges of the map looking for a clean snipe. You know, using perks like Field Scout or Double Down, people who enjoyed that playstyle could try to lean into the covert sniper approach and not worry about sprinting out in the open to grab ammo or huddle around ammo boxes. But the flashier players could take advantage of perks like Snapshot, Unflinching, Quick Draw, Hidden Hand, even Injection Mold to finely tune their sniper rifle for a more aggressive and up-close movement and fast aim-centered sniping game. And if a player practiced enough, they could get into a really great rhythm and capitalize on their fast reactions and predictions and put players down in the blink of an eye with a well-placed shot. Some of the flashiest players in Destiny 1 were hitting ridiculous multi-kills in high-pressure situations, all with clean movement and snipes. But obviously, that was not long-lived. When Destiny 2 launched, sniper rifles were locked in the heavy slot, meaning only one player at a time in the game could really have sniper ammo at a time, only a few times throughout the match. There was no sniper on sniper combat anymore. People still landed impressive snipes and made cool plays, but they were few and far between and you were fighting your own teammates for ammo in most cases as it wasn't shared on pickup. When Forsaken launched, it was like going back to Destiny 1 in a lot of ways. We had sniper on sniper fights again. We had some aggressive sniping, but not a ton. They seemed to fall in this middle of the pack spot in the meta. The season of opulence launched and it was the golden age of snipers. We had some buffs. We rocked Beloved and Revoker for a while. We had a big player pool to pull from as the game was booming. Things were really fun for snipers at the time. Even the long goodbye was getting some love. But then the complaints started to roll in because on mouse and keyboard, double body shotting was becoming too easy. So snipers received some nerfs across the boards over the next several seasons. 140s lost their ability to double body shot, meaning their utility went way down. Most nerfs came in later, including aim assist nerfs, nerfs to precision damage, so one-shotting most roaming supers was off the table for most snipers. Basically, Bungie forced everyone to run high impact snipers like Revoker, because they were the only ones that could put down supers, double body shot, body shot melee, body shot, and one shot with a, um, uh, you know, the, the popular hand cannons at the time to the body. So you could body shot, switch to the hand cannon, spare rations, whatever, body shot again, and get a kill. So everyone was obviously running the high impacts because they just made the most sense. They had the most utility. 
And then, we had the most recent nerfs to snipers. They tuned down the aim assist massively on low zoom scopes. So if you were running a scope with less than 50 zoom, then your aim assist values took a real hit. So if you were a fan of the 140 archetype and you just dealt with the body shot nerf, now you got hit with another nerf. And now 140s are basically non-existent in the PvP landscape. For those curious, the uh, zoom value nerfs, those affected the Beloved, the Revoker, the Twilight Oath, the Omniscient Eye, basically all the most popular snipers in the game. Then they gave us, hey, here's a new Cloud Strike with 50 zoom. How do you like this occluded finality with 58? Here's the succession in your new DC, DSC raid, right? With a 50 zoom value. Here's Praetis Revenge at 49. Now compare that to what we had been using. The Revoker was 35. Beloved's original was 40. Twilight Oath, 35. Omniscient Eye, 40. So you can clearly see a deliberate choice to start moving away from the low zoom snipers and that aggressive sniping playstyle. They do less damage, they have less aim assist, and they have less utility in PvP. That's the bottom line. So that brings us to the final part of the discussion. How do we really feel about all of this? Where are snipers sitting in the meta right now? Well, this actually might surprise you. Sniper rifle usage has continued to go down since Beyond Light dropped. Also worth noting, this is a little bit of a tangent, but also worth bringing up, I think, since we're talking about it, snipers also got a really hefty nerf in PvE. Remember when Izanagi was like the thing, you know? If, you get, if you're on the raid team, hey, everybody, make sure you got your Izanagis and your Catalyst done. Well, they ended up nerfing snipers in PvE and their damage output, and they nerfed Izanagi specifically as well on top of that. So snipers even got hit really hard in the PvE scene as well. So right now, snipers sit at around a 4.9% usage rate on both console and PC. They're underneath scouts, fusions, pulses, autos, shotguns up at 19.3% usage rate, which is nearly quadruple, and hand cannons at 29.3%. If we look at the top 30 weapons being used right now in PvP, and we add up the sniper usage rates among those top 30 weapons, it's a total of about 6% usage rate within the top 30. Doing the same for shotguns among the top 30. You're looking at a usage rate of 20.1% within those top 30. That is a massive discrepancy. That is a massive discrepancy. Now, I'm not saying I want those values flipped. You may absolutely love those values yourself, and that's totally fine. Maybe your vision for the Crucible and, and what you prefer the most out of your PvP experience is hand cannons and shotguns are extremely dominant, and then you have a bunch of other stuff that you could use too. Maybe that is your vision for it, and that's what you prefer, and that's totally okay. I Far be it for me to tell you what you are allowed to like and not like. But I'm going to go ahead and say that snipers have been nerfed in the wrong ways, in my opinion. Taking away the utility of low zoom and high rate of fire snipers wasn't the play. For me, if double bodying was an issue, they should have targeted stability and recoil animations to make that harder to do. Instead, they killed their damage output. If people were frustrated about getting domed while they were getting, while you know, while they're peppering a sniper with their primary, if I got a pulse rifle or an auto rifle and I'm going bra bra bra, I'm landing all my shots, and then I get domed through that flinch by the guy, even though I caught him off guard, that's frustrating, and that's what people were saying. And Bungie's response to that was, okay, let's nerf aim assist values on the low zoom scopes, and try to make people zoom in farther with these these 50 plus zoom scopes instead. Well, I think they should have targeted flinch, not the aim assist. The aim assist wasn't the problem, it was the flinch. I respectfully think that Bungie missed the mark on many of these targeted nerfs, and the result is a meta where shotguns are the absolute kings. With hand cannons being so definitively on top of the primary totem pole, the natural special weapon to pair with them is a shotgun, since 120s are on top. And that has that basically makes it so you've got all your ranges co covered. So that's kind of another factor there for sure. But I'd love to hear what you think. Are you happy with snipers being so low in the usage rate department? Have you been pleased with how Bungie has handled the many sniper nerfs since Season of Opulence? What would an appropriate spread look like for you in the meta? I think shotguns will always be kings, just as they always have been. But I'd love to see a little more diversity in the sandbox personally. And that isn't a request for shotguns to be nerfed. I want to be clear about that. I'm not saying, hey, I think shotguns need to be nerfed. I'm not saying that. 
I, I would just love to see them have some more competition up top. That's all. So be warm and well-fed, my friends, and I hope to catch you in the Crucible.